what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're making hash, hash brownies. brownies. Okay, so for this we'll be needing four medium-sized potatoes. I have boiled these for three to four minutes to, and then I have kept these in the strainer so that all the starch comes out. It doesn't matter how long you keep this out to take all the starch out because these are only boiled so they won't change color either. And then we will be needing two tablespoons of corn flour or corn starch, two tablespoons of flour, and two tablespoons of rice flour, one teaspoon of black uh, black pepper, and one teaspoon of salt. Do you want to tell what happens next? Now we'll put uh, the three to four no, four, potato. four potatoes, four medium potatoes, four medium potatoes in. Uh, the towel so then the yeah so this is a bit of towel parchment paper then tissue this will just absorb uh, absorb the rest of the um, uh, starch in the potato and then we're just going to cover this oops and then we're going to cover this with some more tissue because you want to and we're just going to pat this down, and, and you can already start some see some starch coming out already. All the starch has been absorbed. I'm going to take the tissue out, and I'm going to take all the potatoes and pick it up and keep it in this bowl over here. All the potatoes should just like roll off. So we're just going to add in our flour, cornstarch, rice flour, black pepper, and salt into this. And we're going to use our hands and just mix this all in. The corn flour will just help uh, take away the water and the starch left in here. And we have to make sure that it's like a crummy uh, uh, texture. And if it's not happening, we're going to add in more of uh, we're gonna add in two teaspoons of water. And we're just going to continue mixing it in. This is done. It uh, it feels like how you uh, it, when you have when you're making a pie crust. It feels like that. It's crummy, but it binds together. So I'm going to. I have some parchment paper here, and I'm just gonna put this all over here. I'm just and I'm going to take another sheet of parchment paper, keep it on top of this, and I'm going to roll this out. The potato was sticking to the parchment paper, so I switched it and redid it, but on foil paper this time, and it did not stick. So I have this around half an inch thick. I'm going to use the tip of a cloth and cut out small circles using this. So I'm just going to push this in, and I'm going to continue doing these the rest. The last one I can make from this batch, I'm going to, I can uh, re-roll this dough and continue making more. So I'm going to take this one out and keep it over here. So now that these are, I'm after making the circles, I have just squished them a bit to make them oval sized. And now I'm just going to take these to the back. And I am like, I have just put some oil. It's your choice. You can even uh, deep fry this, but A, it's unhealthy, and also it's um, scary because, you know, you don't want oil coming all over you. So I just put that in there. And I'm gonna let this fry on both sides until it's golden brown. So yeah. I'm first going to just switch sides. Ah, just slipping away. There. So 
So these are potato hash browns. You should really try this at home. These have a crunchy crust and they're really easy to make. So I'm just going to grab a spoon and just try some. They're really crunchy. And there, that's some. Mmm. They're really hot. Really good. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.